What's up guys, Baby Dean here and welcome to episode 20 of my road to Manchester City. This is pretty exciting because today's commentary is going to be all live and it is also episode 20 and we're right around Christmas. So I'm pretty excited for this episode and hopefully you guys are too. But before we go into the games, obviously we're going to get into the trades. First thing I should mention is that we did end up passing the 600k mark. And that wasn't only thanks to the trades, it was also thanks to somebody that we've been holding on for a while that I managed to sell, but we're going to get to that in a second. Let's take a look at the trades over here. Made a couple of trades to silver players, they're still working pretty well, especially now during uh, everybody's selling. And you can pick up a lot of deals with silver players, so I definitely recommend trading with silvers if you can. Also, trading with Akin Fenwa has worked pretty well for me over here. So. We're going to keep showing these trades over here and that Clark right there, I got to tell you guys something. I had him in my club from I guess like once we packed him or we bought him uh, and I ended up selling him for 2.5k and that is because there's currently a tournament going on that is Irish and Liverpool players. So I man managed to sell him for 2.5 and that also means we managed to sell the Shane Long for around 19,000 coins. I think we bought him for around 16, made a little bit of profit, but don't worry, I will obviously rebuy all the Irish players in the future. Just not yet. I'm going to wait till team of the year probably to buy them and then sell them again before the tournament comes out. But yeah, did a bunch of trades. We now have 630, 613,000. And I managed to pick up three crazy deals that I want to show you guys before I list them up and sell them. I picked up this Yedlin over here for 800 coins, which is just insane because he goes for around 4,000, 5,000 coins. NG or whatever his name is, the Spurs player over here, got him for 900 coins. He goes for around 3,000. And Opara, who goes for around 4,000, 5,000, picked them up for 1.5. So I'm going to list up all these guys. And hopefully after the next game, they do sell. But let's get into the game right now. Okay, guys, we're going to head into the game now. Into Division 7, our first game in Division 7 with the first City Squad. Let's see who we come across. Uh, something you guys should know is that Boney's on 90 fitness right now. So I'm not too sure how much he's going to have an impact in this next game. Because he obviously has to put in two shifts for every game. I need to start putting Ian Nacho into the second team more because uh, Boni gets too tired and he never gets a chance to regain fitness. So let's see who we come across. Okay, so we came across this guy, Marley Minter23. He made his account this year, so we're going to see how good he is. And uh, hopefully we can get a win in our first game in Division 7. Let's see his team because I'm pretty nervous. He has a... Okay, a pretty budget Premier League side. Um... I, I gotta watch out for Cameron, Jerome, and Benteke. They're pretty strong and fast. Fernandinho on the right-hand side. Yeah, he's got a pretty decent side. Lloris and Net is gonna be a little bit difficult to break down, but hopefully Boney and Ianacho can prove that they're worthy. Zavaleta down the right-hand side. Bad pass to Ianacho. Wait, somehow. Ah, uh, it's offside. <laughs> I really feel like well, he couldn't really head it that hard, Boney, but it would have been cool if Boney scored. Zuglini was obviously offside right there. Zuglini gets through everybody. Can he score? Yes! Holy sh... What a finish. Top left corner. I didn't expect that. I was actually trying to shoot it with his left foot, but he went with his right and the cell went in. So pretty good goal. We're up 1-0. 10 minutes in with Zuglini. Still love the guy. City aren't known for scoring corners, but can we get one here? Let's see. Ooh, almost got a head on her. Brand. Dino with a long shot. Oh! <laughs> I always knew Fernandinho had a good long shot, but I didn't actually think that one would go in. And that was such a nice goal because they hit the post and went in. Ah, uh, he pulled one back right there. I don't know what happened with the defense, but... <laughs> Of course, it's Fernandinho that pulls one back. I guess that makes it a little bit less painful that he scored it. But uh, I, he really split the defense pretty easily right there. A little bit worrying, but hopefully we can get another goal because if we don't, then uh, he can come back. Oh no, cliche. What a save! Oh my god, Joe Hart. <laughs> okay, this game's getting a little bit more tense now. <sighs> I thought he scored that right there. <sighs> I, th I definitely thought he scored right there. What a save from Hart. Okay, so... First half ends, and... Uh, 
I still have the lead, but he's starting to get back into it. I don't know. In the beginning, he was really poor. He didn't have any chances, but now he's creating a lot. A bit strange. I guess he's getting. I guess he's getting used to the game. But um, we really need to grab a third goal. Zuku, Nacho, Nacho's through. Ooh, I, oh wait, what a! I don't know if that was a good save or a terrible shot. Zavaleta down the wing. Can he provide the assist? Wait, is that a penalty? Oh, what? I thought it was a penalty. It's not. The play's not dead yet. The dream is still alive. Zuguli with a long shot. Hits the post. Oh. Po you know what? Zuccolini actually has a great long shot for some reason. I gotta check his long shot stat because he scores a lot of screamers for me. No, I gave the ball away. This is probably a goal. And rightly so. Yep. Oh, God. That was so dumb. I don't know why he passed it short right there. I, hmm, I really need to grab a third. I don't want to lose this game. What? How did he score that? Cameron Jerome does not have a shot like that. Oh, we're losing. We were up 2-0 and now we're losing. This is typical though. Like I always give up leads and oh, I'm paying the price. I gotta get another. I had a lot of chances but it hit the post. Goalie's having a decent game besides those two goals. Nasri, come on! You can't shoot it right at him just because he's French and you play on the scene. <laughs> oh wait, actually Nasri doesn't play anymore. So the French guy. Sorry, Nas. He almost scored another one like that. Oh my God! I thought that was game over. That well, it pretty much is game over. I mean, it's the 90th minute. Huh? The ref's gonna blow the whistle right when I shoot to score. Ah, so we lose our first game in Division 7, and I really think I should have won that game. Ugh. That guy wasn't too great, but he took his chances, even though he missed a few actually. He scored most of his chances, and just look at the stats right there. Let's go back. Oh, I can't. Okay. Well, we get our first loss in Division 7, and. I'm pretty annoyed, so let's jump back, hopefully, with the second team. It's going to be more difficult this time. And grab a win. But before that, let's go take a look at our trades. Uh, and uh, hopefully, I think I think everybody sold, which is pretty great. Yeah, the Yedlin sold for 2.9. The NG, or NGI, whatever his name is, sold for 2.3. And the Opara sold for 4.1. So we made a nice little bit of profit with those guys. We're now at 623,000 coins. And uh, hopefully, uh, soon, maybe we'll hit the 650k. So anyways, guys, let's go and check the second game out. Okay, so we're heading into the second game with the second city squad. This time, Iannaccio's going to play instead of Boney because Boney is on pretty low fitness. And um, yeah, I really hope we can win this next one, even though it's going to be more difficult because the players aren't as good, obviously, as the first team. But uh, I think this game, if uh, it's not playing so great, I think I'm going to bring on Barker and... Uh, who was it? Uh, who's the right mid? Roberts. Barker and Roberts. Because Barker does have a little bit of pace. And Roberts obviously is going to be on 99 Fitness. So let's see who we get in our second game. Okay guys. We're coming across this guy. D Shifty 26. And let's take a look at what squad he's got going. He's running the Brazil kit. I don't think he would do that. Would he? Oh yep. Okay. We're going to have similar kits. Which is going to be a little bit annoying. But hopefully... My eyes work well enough to determine the difference. And of course, he does have a strong Premier League side because Premier League sides are the only thing people know how to make in this game, apparently. Or at least in the visions. But um, this <laughs> this sucks because this team is way better than the last one and I'm using a weaker team. So if we win this game, I, I just don't even know. <laughs> Iannaccio, Iannaccio. Two minutes in, Iannaccio with, was that his right foot? I don't know, but top right corner. What a goal. We're up early. Not sure how, but we need to hold on to this. Okay, it's it's two on two, I think, right now. Ambrose and Iannaccio kind of gave up right there. But Ambrose is still through. God, I shot it way too hard. I probably, mm, I don't think a finesse shot will work. I just had to put less power on it and... 
It could have been it. God, wait, we're still not dead here. It's dead. Wait, Evans is through. Can the youngster... No, that's a penalty. That's a penalty. Yes, it's a penalty. John Terry just couldn't catch up. George Evans was through on goal. Wait, yeah, it was John Terry. I wonder if he gets a red card for that because he was not he last man. Does he? I don't think he gets a red card. But George Evans obviously going to have to step up to the penalty. Now, will I score? Probably not, but let's see what happens. We're going top right corner. Oh my god, and it actually went top left corner. Why did I see top right corner? I wanted to go top left corner. And it just went right on the upper 90. We're up 2-0 somehow. But let's not get cocky. Because last time I was up 2-0, we knew all what happens. 3-2 loss. And I don't want to lose again. Ambrose to close it off. Ambrose with a... That was a golden chance. I really should have scored right there. Ah. Uh... Not, I struggle with some bronzes a lot, you know. But uh, that was definitely my fault. Wait, Ambrose, a chance at redemption? And still no goal. I'm starting to feel bad for him because he does deserve a goal at this point. Wait, Ambrose again! <laughs> and again, he misses. Something's going on with this poor guy. Okay, so we're going into the half <laughs> once again with a 2-0 lead, just like last game. Uh, right, did we go into a 2-0 lead? Yeah, I think we did. And th the stats seem pretty close, but uh, I feel like I'm dominating the game. He's not having any great chances. This is such a deja vu to last game. I really hope I don't concede three right now because that would be the end of me. But uh, we need to grab a third goal over here. Okay, Delph. Through on goal. Can he score? Yes, he can. Fabian Delph, the man that I will probably sub off in 10 minutes for uh, Barker and um, Roberts. Well, I think Roberts. Okay, wait. We have a pause over here in the 51st minute. Is he going to rate? Yes, he is. Okay. So, a free three points right there. That wasn't free. That was a pretty tight game until I scored three. And, uh... We get three points, so I really wish we could have gotten six points this episode. I really should have, but I guess it wasn't meant to be. Manu Garcia with the man of the match. I think he got himself an assist. Let's have a check right over here. Three assists. So he got an assist for all three goals, which is pretty amazing. Delph with a goal. And then who were the other goal scorers? Ian Ocho, I think. And Evans on the penalty. So a pretty good win. Um, I was expecting a tougher game from that team, but um, yeah, I'm surprised he rage quitted. And... Uh, yeah, we're going to go and uh, see our stats right now on Division 7. 1-0-1, -1, pretty bad. But anyways, guys, this is going to end this episode of my road to Manchester City. This has been episode 20. Hope you guys enjoyed the live commentary. My name is Pippi Deed, and I'm out.